This video is about the planning. Now we're going to move on to some of the electronics. Let's go see if mommy needs some help and then we'll come back out, okay? Mm -hmm. High five. This is going to be awesome. Isn't that cool? I know, I'm really excited. <laughs> to see this plane fly by itself. Yeah. I don't really think I trust the landing, but I've seen other people do it. Oh, yeah. I've seen other people do it and it does work, but I don't want to do it around a bunch of people. I'd really do it when there's nobody else out there. And then... And then, and, but I do want to try it. I mean, I may, I may try it, and just see because that this GPS is accurate within 2.5 meters, which is pretty far. 2.5 meters is a pretty good distance. It's like not accurate enough to land a plane, in my opinion. So we can add another sensor on here, which is a sonar to measure the ground, to actually measure how far the ground is when you get close. Okay. We can add sensors like that to this and make it really cool. I don't know if we ever get that far because I just we just need to get the thing in the air and just see if it even flies and just like figure out and then not crash it and like bring <laughs> it home in one piece and then figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. So yeah. anyway the cool thing is, is I can at least fly the plane now because I have this controller running. Pretty cool. Yes it is. Again. Yeah you better get out of here. I will. This is gonna stuck in here. <laughs> Riley, yes. what are you looking at? Bunch of boards and beagle bones. Why are they out? I don't know. You don't know? That's because you were sleeping. While you were sleeping, I was trying to find something. So I got all my stuff out, and this is what I was looking for. You know, you know what this is? Don't touch it yet. You know what it is? No. It's a GPS module. You know what that... It's a tracker? Yeah. You so know what... if we lose the plane, we can track it. Well, that's sort of the hope. The other hope is that it it can know where it's at, so it can fly itself. You mean we... it'll scan the area? No, it just knows where it's at. Because it's tracking itself with GPS. You know what GPS stands for? No. G P S Global Tracking System. Oh, Global Positioning System. Global Position System. Maybe I don't even know what it means. Global <laughs> glo Global Positioning System, I think. Anyway, it uses satellites. So this can connect up to 66 different satellites and determine its point in space because it's connecting to all those different things. So it's like a tracking device. No, it is a tracking device. So, is it static? Yeah, I gotta be careful. I'll sit it here. So, I found another one on this board. So, we might pop that off if we want it, but there's two of them we can use. Actually, this one's different. Now that I look at it. So, you went through all this to find this little bit. Yeah, but you know what? That saves me $40. 40 Yeah, 40 That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so let me show you what I did, okay? I'll set it up, because i got to put this together. Ready? We have absolutely no introduction to what it is that we're trying to do. So can you please tell the audience what this thing is? The Beagle Bone. Is it the Beagle Bone? What? Speak up. The Beagle Bone. The what? The Beagle Bone. Beagle Bone? What the heck is that? What's a beagle bone? Something. I don't know. It's a board. Okay. That has sensors and stuff on it. Wi-Fi. And a microprocessor. That's a microprocessor. It's an ARM-based microprocessor. 32-bit. Micro processor. Okay. Okay. A big chip there is a microprocessor. It does all the computing power. There's one of those in this computer, there's one of those in this watch. They're all different, but this one happens to be right there. Then, this board also has CAN bus. It also has an accelerometer and a GP, or no GPS, uh, but a uh, couple other things. A couple other ports for servos and uh, motor controllers and a whole bunch of stuff built onto this one board. Which we're going to use to control the, the receiver thingies? The airplane? Yeah. So, oh, the, the servos. Yeah. The, so the servos go right here. And then they hook up to there? 
Yeah, they go right there. So, what I've been trying to do for the last week is load up some software called Ardru 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 Pilot. Ardru Pilot. I can't pronounce it right. A R D U Pilot. Okay. Okay. And you can use it for like drones or rovers or like ground or plane airplanes. In this case, I wanted to load airplane. So because this has a accelerometer on it, which is if I move the board, then it will it will detect that movement just like your so like my cell phone. It knows which way I flip it, and you can play games with the phone by moving. It's the same thing. Okay. But the difference is is that we want to use that to keep the plane stable. So if the plane if this is mounted in the plane and the plane starts leaning, this board will know it and it will correct. You mean like mine? Like your little one. Exactly like your little one. Okay? Make sense? Mm hmm That's what we're trying to do. But there's more to it. Our dual pilot allows you to plan missions and autonomously fly the plane. On its own. Which is really cool. So that's the secondary goal. The primary goal is to use the stabilizing system in our dual pilot plane to keep the plane stable. So we don't roll it and just smash it into the ground. So it's like your little plane, but we're using this to do it. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. That's our goal. So the reason I had all this crap out, which I just filmed before this, <laughs> funny enough, we got this GPS unit. Okay? So this has a compass built onto it already. A compass? You mean a compass? A compass, yeah. You see why it says X, Y, and Z? Yeah. Can't show the camera. It says X, Y, and Z on the board. That is because... There is an accelerometer on this board and mounted in that direction. And then there's a compass and a digital electronic compass in here as well. Okay. So if I rotate the board, it knows where north is. Cool. But you get interference and stuff if you're not yeah, careful. Yeah, I'll need you. I'll okay. be right there. <laughs> so this, okay, this will tell you where it's at, like in orientation wise. Okay. It also has an accelerometer. Um, so actually the other thing is a, a, not an accelerometer, I said it wrong, it's a positional, I forgot the name, I'll throw it on the screen, forgot, can't think. Anyway, so it also knows like if you jerk it around, it can tell that it's being jerked around, which is pretty cool. But what it can't do is it can't tell where it's at in space, like in the air, it has no idea. Okay. GPS knows where it is. Knows where it's at, that's what that does, global positioning system. GPS. That's what that stands for. Okay. So, when you put these two together, and that's what we're going to do, we're going to be able to tell where it's at, how high it is off the ground, and um, also then what's level. And You need the basics, basically, in order to uh, accomplish the goal we're trying to accomplish. So, we're going to take this chip, and we're going to solder these pins. This one looks used. I hope it's good. We're gonna we're gonna solder these pins, hopefully, and link it up to this. That's what our goal is. Okay. I mean these tiny little things. Yes. I'll be right back. I have to help mommy. I need to peel potatoes. Okay, let's oh, go. Let's do it.